Neuralink's first human patient that has a chip in their brain, they're using their implant more than eight hours a day, and now the company wants to upgrade it while it's already in his head. Now, now, the user is spending all those hours gaming and studying neuroscience, which tells you that this isn't just working, it's becoming truly part of his daily routine. He's not testing it occasionally, he's living with it. Now, here's what's wild about that. The upgrade that they're considering isn't about fixing something that's broken, it's about adding capability. They want him controlling more sophisticated tasks with more precision than the current version allows. Think of it like going from typing with one finger to using all 10 of your fingers, except you know the interface is your, your thoughts. Now, no timeline has been announced on this and we don't know the technical details of it or how you actually upgrade a device that's wired to someone's brain, but the fact that they're even discussing it means that they've moved past the question of does this work and straight into, well, how good can we make it? Now, we, we are watching the difference between a working prototype and an actual product get tested in real time inside a living person brain.